The promise of virtual reality has for some time been enormous. Long underutilized, the technology has finally caught up with the concept, don the goggles in the nowhere, and be instantly transported to the anywhere. We as designers have gotten very good at showing what the space might look like, but we still struggle to demonstrate what the space really feels like. Virtual reality can go one step closer by offering the viewer a degree of free will. You can choose where to look, where to linger. In this metaphysical transportation to an altered state, the act of immersion can be owing. In three short weeks, we sought to question what virtual reality might mean for future urban experience explored through the guise of London as a false city. The technology seemed alien and the learning curve vertical, but we quickly found our feet in a groundless world. We began by inspecting the eccentricities of London using technologies of observation and capture, photography, film and 3D LiDAR scans. Through rebellious acts of misappropriation, we then creatively reconstruct our own version of events, mistranslated according to the new rules and logics of our virtual world. In doing so, we sought to expose the eccentric characters and anomalies that we discovered through exploring London's streets and spaces, and looked at how we could give them a new life of their own. We are exploring the eccentric spatial qualities of the City of London, using the analogy of the theatrical stage. The polished walls of London represent a corporate front of house, but behind this stage set facade is a chaotic cacophony of old and new, both thrilling and mundane, and planned and accidental. The reflection seen in the polished walls of the real city inform the direction of our virtual speculation. Part fact, part fiction, we have constructed a virtual environment to reveal the unseen dimensions of space in this false city. The meandering path through 3D scanned meshes of the urban fabric and entirely fictional architectures lead you in and out of an illusion. The structure and logics of the site distort and mirror as you navigate the environment, folding and unfolding theatrically to reveal the spatial tricks of the stage city. In exploring the above and the underground areas of the bank station in London, we became fascinated by the contrast between the enclosed and the wide open spaces of the city. These eccentricities of enclosure are the focus of our fall city, in which we create a spectrum of different experiences of closed, open and partially open spaces. In order to evoke feelings that range between claustrophobia and agoraphobia, we have designed an experience where the environment gives the illusion of both shrinking and collapsing. A journey through the maze-like pipes and tunnels of London transport and communication infrastructure takes the viewer up into tall towers that reveal vast open views of the city. As you navigate the environment, the viewer's action triggered spatial transformation that heightened the experience of enclosure and exposure. London is a city going through constant change. Within this mad and chaotic environment, there exist little pockets of calm and quiet, eccentric spaces that defy the ever-densifying urban environment. In our false city, the viewer moves through a series of alternate calm and chaotic spaces. In this imagined world, the contrasts of the city are compressed into the small room that houses the virtual reality headset. It is a journey both composed and confused, a fusion of opposites, of shifting planes. The juxtapositions of the city exist in both time and space, and our work seeks to explore this directly by examining the shifting states between introversion and expression. We're interested in how the city reshapes itself over time. Based on two sites that exhibit such change, King's Cross and Crystal Palace Park, our virtual environment showcases the present and the imagined past. 
Our experience of the fall city begins outside a single volume that dissolves as the viewer gets closer. As the multiple planes of the complex structure pull apart in all directions, portals open up to reveal the sites at different points in time. Each portal presents the viewer with a different notion of the place. Some are built from memories of a prior reality, whilst others are conjured up from semi-fictitious nostalgic thoughts, where the imagination runs wild. The experience within this false city reveals the multiple histories embedded in each of our sites. Through these investigations, we have discovered the tools and skills needed to embark on new journeys through false cities, existing in both physical and virtual forms. Although we have just begun, the work has excited and enthused us to delve deeper into such uncertain worlds. We continue to question what made us mean for our cities and what new eccentricities might emerge.